Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Elon Musk confident, Tesla full self-driving will be finished by end of 2022. Tesla Model Y from Giga Texas will equip structural battery pack and 4680 cells. Tesla delays Cybertruck production due to supply chain constraints, new timeline is vague. Tesla unveils fleet of new Tesla semi-electric trucks. And, Elon Musk reveals, Tesla is not currently working on the $25,000 model. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla recently held their Q4 2021 earnings call, and there's a lot of updates from Tesla. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that he is confident the company's full self-driving suite will be finished by 2022. Musk was extremely confident in his prediction, stating he will be shocked if Tesla does not complete FSD by the end of the year. Tesla's full self-driving suite has been in development for several years and was expected to be feature complete several years ago. However, Tesla has come close to solving its puzzle, only lacking a single feature, auto steer on city streets. Tesla has opened a beta program for FSD, which has accumulated over 60,000 active users, according to the company's Q4 2021 shareholder deck. The full self-driving suite currently costs $12,000 and was increased from its $10,000 on January 17. Tesla baffled many people when it increased the price of the suite without releasing any improvements or new features to the general population of FSD users, not just those included in the beta program. However, the price increase may be an indication of Musk's confidence in the FSD suite, which is what many people predicted following the price increase because it came with no general explanation. Musk stated a day after the price increase took place that people do not yet understand how valuable an autonomous vehicle will be. Although Musk's synopsis of the program was priceless, consumers seemed to believe that they wanted to pay for what was available now and not necessarily the capabilities of the program. But if Musk's predictions are correct, skeptics will eat their words. Tesla could finally release a feature-complete FSD suite, especially considering the CEO's revelation that the Dojo supercomputer, which is bound to take the company's autonomy quest in the right direction, is not needed for FSD to be completed. Instead, Musk hinted toward different plans for Dojo. If Dojo is competitive, it is the kind of thing we might offer to other companies, Musk said. Moving to the next update. Tesla Model Y from Giga Texas will equip structural battery pack and 4680 cells. Tesla's Gigafactory Texas built Model Y will equip the company's structural battery pack and the revolutionary 4680 cells, CEO Elon Musk confirmed on the company's Q4 2021 earnings call. Musk confirmed that Tesla has been building many Model Y units at Gigafactory Texas in recent days as the factory nears production approval. Upon updating listeners that Tesla would begin deliveries of the Texas-built Model Y when the vehicle receives an approval certification, Musk confirmed that the 4680 battery cells and structural battery pack system would be used in vehicles built at Gigafactory Texas. Tesla updated the timeline for the plant and its shareholder deck by stating, builds of Model Ys started in late 2021 at Gigafactory Texas. After final certification of Austin-made Model Y, we plan to start deliveries to customers. Musk also confirmed the Gigafactory Texas Model Ys would equip the structural battery pack, which will increase vehicle rigidity and structural integrity. Tesla hinted that the structural pack was being included in cars when it released the shareholder deck just before the earnings call began. Interestingly, Tesla also stated in its Q4 2021 shareholder deck that Model Ys built at Gigafactory Berlin in Germany would not initially equip the 4680 cells. These vehicles will equip 2170 battery cells at first, which have been used in the Model 3 and Model Y since their early production days. Additionally, Tesla shared a photograph of seats being mounted to its structural battery pack, which was recently added to the Model Y owner's manual. In Texas, Tesla continues to wait for the final certification of Model Y vehicles built at the plant. Tesla said 
it would begin deliveries of the Model Y soon after receiving this certification. Now that Model Y vehicles, being manufactured at Gigafactory Texas, are confirmed to have the structural battery pack and 4680 cells, Tesla's long-standing projects to revolutionize castings and EV battery tech are here. Moving to the next update, Tesla delays Cybertruck production due to supply chain constraints, new timeline is vague. Tesla confirmed at the earnings call that it is delaying the start of Cybertruck production, as supply chain issues, especially the chip shortage, would limit volumes significantly. The new timeline is now quite vague. When Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck back in 2019, Tesla said that the electric pickup truck would make it to market by the end of 2021. As the deadline was approaching, the automaker confirmed that production slipped to 2022. CEO Elon Musk later said that Tesla was targeting a start of production for the electric pickup truck in late 2022 at Gigafactory Texas. With the focus clearly on bringing the Model Y to production at the factory and that being delayed as well, it appeared likely that the Cybertruck production timeline could also slip. Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed that the Cybertruck timeline has slipped again. Musk said that Tesla would not launch any new vehicle this year due to supply chain constraint. In the conference call, following the release of its Q4 2021 financial results, the CEO explained that any new vehicle launch this year wouldn't actually help Tesla deliver more total electric vehicles in 2022, since some parts shared between vehicles, especially chips, wouldn't see more supply. As for the new timeline for the Cybertruck, Musk only said that it would hopefully come next year, which would mean sometime in 2023. The company didn't issue new specs or pricing for the vehicle, despite removing those from its website last year. Lately, a new Tesla Cybertruck prototype has been spotted around Gigafactory Texas. Moving to the next update, Tesla unveils fleet of new Tesla semi-electric trucks. Tesla has quietly unveiled a fleet of new Tesla semi-electric trucks as part of its new financial result report. Yet, there's no word on the status of production and customer deliveries. The situation around the Tesla semi has been unclear over the last few months. The electric truck has already been delayed several times as it was originally supposed to be delivered in 2019. While Tesla has been making progress toward bringing its electric semi-truck to low-volume production in Nevada, the automaker confirmed last year that customer deliveries of the Tesla Semi are pushed to 2022. Some new prototypes have been spotted around Gigafactory Nevada over the last few months, and the CEO of PepsiCo even said that he was expecting to get his first few Tesla Semi-trucks by the end of the year. That didn't happen, but the first deliveries could be imminent. Tesla surprisingly didn't comment on the status of Tesla semi-production in its earnings report, but it did release a new image of a small fleet of four brand new units. This is the most Tesla semi-trucks that we have seen at the same place ever. They appear to be parked at Tesla's new megacharger station at Gigafactory Nevada, where the automaker has deployed some low-volume production capacity. While Tesla didn't comment on the status of the vehicle program in the earnings report, the company could comment on it in the following conference call. Shareholders are going to be looking at an update on the production specs, pricing, and a better look at the production ramp, which is going to be needed to start making a dent in the long backlog of orders. Moving to the last update, Elon Musk reveals Tesla is not currently working on the $25,000 model. In their Q4 and 2021 full-year earnings call, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed the automaker is not currently working on the $25,000 vehicle. He noted that Tesla has too much on their plate, making the $25,000 car not a priority. The CEO had an interesting take on the question, requesting an update for the $25,000 car. He noted that the shareholder was asking the wrong question. He said that the question should instead be around the future of transportation and that it might not be the $25,000 vehicle. The simple fact is that Tesla is currently working on multiple projects and the $25,000 car was the win that missed out. 
The company is presently retooling and engineering on three different vehicles, the Roadster, the Semi, and the Cybertruck. In addition, Tesla is also looking to roll out a fully operational full self-driving software in the next year. With four production facilities, a vehicle had to lose out. So, is the more affordable Tesla dead? No, but it will certainly not come in 2022, and by the looks of it, we would be lucky to get it by 2023, with the current slate of launches. However, Tesla teased that they may open additional factories in 2022, so the 2023-2024 timeline could still be possible. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.